source options. Let's talk about shape files and QGIS, how to load them, how to create them, and how to edit them. First, we'll go over how to open shape files in QGIS, and we'll do this in two methods. First, we can go to layer, add layer, add vector layers. Shape files are vector layers. Now, what I want to do is I want to select here the layer I want to load. I'm in a folder here that has some vector data. Make sure you select the .shp extension. You can filter down here if you want to um, limit your files to a specific file type. I've selected this, I will open it now, and when I click add, it's going to add this file in. You can see I have a shape file of the counties in the United States. The other way I can do this, it's very simple, is I can go to the browser. I can navigate in the browser over here to uh, any file that I'm interested in. For example, maybe mypoints.shp, I'm going to add that in, and when I go back over, oh, we need to click to accept the uh, conversion. And if I go back to layers, you can see that I have points located in this area. And there's a cluster of points located right there. So I've successfully added in that shapefile. Now, let's talk about how we can create our own shapefiles. To do this, I'm first going to just make a new blank QGIS project. I will discard this one. And I want to add in some context. So I'm going to add in a base map. You should have, by default, OpenStreetMap available in XYZ tiles. And I'm just going to pull over and add that in. Um, if you want to know more about base maps, check out the video I have on base maps. Now let's just zoom in to the Denver area. And maybe we want to digitize some features here. So we'll just come over here. Now let's go ahead and we want to create our own shapefile. And the way that I'm going to do this is once again, we will go to the layer menu. We'll go to create layer and we will click new shapefile layer. Notice you can also create shapefiles as a temporary scratch, or it's not a shapefile, but it's a in memory vector layer, spatialite, um, or geo package, or some other options. We'll make a new shapefile layer for this example. Here I select the file name. I'm going to call this my SHP, and I'm going to click save. Notice the save file type isn't every shapefile, and it is the only option, and I will click save. Now I need to come in and I need to choose some options. I need to choose a geometry type specifically. Let's make um, some lines. And then I need to select the coordinate reference system that I wish to use this for. Um, we will just leave this in WGS84. You can add Z values if you want to, and then values, we're not gonna get into that. And you can edit any new fields. We also have the opportunity to add these fields later. Notice that by default, we have an ID field. I'm going to leave the defaults and I'm going to say, okay. So now if I go to my layers, you can see that I have my shape right here, my SHP, but there's no data in it. If I open the attribute table, there are no data records. Now, what I need to do is I need to edit this shape file. And the best way to do that is to go to the editing toolbar, digitizing toolbar, which is right here. If you don't have this, you can go to view, go down to toolbars, and make sure you turn on the digitizing toolbar. From the digitizing toolbar, I can click the toggle editing button. And now editing is turned on for this layer. You'll notice the little pencil symbol right next to it. And when I do that, you'll see I have some additional options that appear on this menu, on this toolbar. I can now use the add line feature to create a line. For example, if I want to create a line that represents this road, I just left click and left click to add vertices and left click again. And now I've created a section of this road. When I'm done creating that section of road, I right click and it pulls up the the attributes if I want to enter these. And I can just say, okay, I thought to leave that null. Now, let's make another line over here to represent a cross street, just like this. And I can right click when it's done and I'll say, okay. And let's make another one here to represent this street here. And I can right click when it's done and say, okay. Now, my, my lines are created. I want to make sure I save those lines so I can come in and I can click Save Layer Edits and I can turn off editing. Now, those lines are very difficult to see where they open up the roads. 
So I want to adjust the symbology for my lines. There are two ways to access symbology. You can see on the right, I have the layer styling panel, which you can access by going to view, panels, and turning on layer styling. Alternatively, you can right click or double click on the layer and click properties. If you double click, it will bring up properties automatically. Then we can come in and go to symbology. And here you see we have the same options. Now, let's go ahead and click on simple line to adjust the line settings. I can change the color to something like black, and I can change the stroke width to points, and I can change the point size to, let's try two. And you can see that these updates occur automatically when we use this layer styling panel, and now those lines are much easier to see. Okay, now, there may be situations where you need to make some adjustments to features you've already created. Maybe, for example, um, instead of having this, maybe you can see here that I want this line to be pretty close down the middle of this road, and it's off just a little bit, and I want to adjust those vertices. So what we can do here is we can turn toggle the editing back on on the toolbar here, and we can find this tool, which is the vertex tool. And you'll notice that we have option one for the current layer. And we'll select that vertex tool. And you can see it gives us this message here, which tells us to right click on an editable feature to show its table of vertices. So if I come and right click on this feature, you can see it gets highlighted. Now I right click on it. And you can see that I have these vertices here. And I can click these vertices and I can move them. See when I click on that vertex, we have this line. I can now move that vertex down that location, and it's edited that. I can come over and I can get this vertex here and I can click on it and move it. Oops, click on it, click and hold and drag to move that vertex. Move it down there, click and hold again, select it and click and hold.